Hello, traders. FS Pimp Collector here. Today is Monday, January 8th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the dollar cat, I still think this is nice and positive down like an A or one. I actually now think this is three waves up for it, either a wave B or a wave two. And I think we're going to make a downtrend probably for a wave C or perhaps even a wave three. So let's keep that in mind. Let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we definitely have been going up pretty strong, as you can see. But I still think this move up is part of a correction, and I still think that we're in a downtrend, and that we're going to continue on this weekly time frame to make lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and continue the downtrend. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, there definitely is a five-way pattern. One, two, three, four, five. I don't really like how stretched out that wave five is, which makes me think that this move up is very likely a correction, but it's probably just going to be a correction to this wave. I bet it's only going to go to the 38 or the 50% before it makes another impulsive move down and another continuation of the bigger uptrend on the higher time frames. So keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the four-hour time frame. So let's go back to up here real quick because we definitely want to see this on the sort of time frame. So let me fix that real quick. So going down to the four hour time frame, we very clearly have an uptrend. One, two, three, four, and five. It does seem to me like we need to make another move down, and this would actually be an A. This would be a wave B, and then it would go back up to either the 38 or the 50% to make a wave C. Just like I was explaining before, I bet this is actually only going to be a correction to this last series of lower lows, lower highs. I bet it's going to make an ABC correction up to one of these Fibonacci levels, make a nice impulsive and golfy move to the downside, possibly a nice break of structure, which if we do see that, that is going to be a really good opportunity to go sort for the continuation of that big downtrend on the higher time frames. Going down to the one hour time frame, it does kind of seem to me like we may have already had this wave five. Now, to me, this looks like a trend and three waves up and then another trend. So maybe this right here really is a wave five. But either way, I do think that this is likely to go down and this is like part of a wave A. But I think the move down is going to be part of a correction. So if you do end up going sore, you have to remember that you're probably trading inside of a correction, inside a correction, because this is probably an ABC. And if you trade short, then you're trading a correction to the correction, which is, to me, is not really a desirable trade. I would prefer to try to get long any chance I get for the continuation of this bigger correction, a bigger ABC. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.